Debriefing is a common term, yet a critical process in simulation-based education. But is the conventional approach to debriefing truly effective? According to Rudolph, Simon, Dufresne, and Raymer's 2006 article in the Simulation in Healthcare Journal, there's room for improvement. These experts argue that the traditional non-judgmental approach to debriefing can fall short of achieving meaningful learning outcomes. They believe it's unrealistic and can even be counterproductive, as it avoids confronting the mistakes and issues that need to be improved upon. Instead, they propose a novel method, debriefing with good judgment. At its core, this approach reframes debriefing not merely as a vehicle for feedback, but as a reflective process that fosters learning and growth. It's about diving deep into the actions and decisions made during a simulation, providing constructive critique, and identifying areas for improvement. The cornerstone of this model is the creation of psychological safety. It's about fostering an environment where participants feel comfortable opening up about their actions, decisions, and errors. It's about allowing for vulnerability and transparency, which are key to growth and learning. The debriefing with good judgment model is based on four key elements. The first is description, where participants recount their actions, decisions, and thought processes during the simulation. This is followed by analysis, where the facilitator and participants dissect what happened, exploring the reasons behind their actions and decisions. Next comes evaluation, a critical step where the good, the bad, and the could have been better are discussed. Constructive feedback is given, and participants are encouraged to critically assess their performance. And finally, comes application. This is where the rubber meets the road, as participants identify the lessons learned from the simulation and discuss how to apply them in real-life situations. Of course, the success of this method heavily relies on the skills of the facilitator. They must be adept at fostering a safe environment, asking open-ended questions, and guiding meaningful discussions. Debriefing with good judgment offers a fresh, structured, and constructive approach to debriefing in simulation-based education. It challenges the concept of non-judgmental debriefing, advocating instead for a model that promotes reflection, feedback, and application of lessons learned. It's about creating a psychologically safe space where participants can learn from their actions, and more importantly, improve their performance in real-life scenarios. Thank you for subscribing. Check out this video for another debriefing method example.